Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft related video. Today we are talking about the ways uh, how you could get the scripting system in a bedrock edition of Minecraft, specifically Windows 10 because I don't think it's out on any other edition uh, or bedrock form, but yeah. So what you want to do first is download this it's perfectly safe that uh, just downloaded I already have it downloaded uh, so then uh, what you want to do is uh, I drag it out to the desktop so then uh, I would open this and then uh, you come to this page then what you want to do is go to scripts and then uh, you want to see which one you'll uh, want uh, to use it for. So if you want to use it for a server, then you'll do the server or like not a server, so like single player base, then yeah, you want to use client. But yeah, so server scripts. These scripts are run on the server side of the game. This includes spawning new entities adding components or modifying components uh, on an entity client scripts these scripts uh, run on individual players uh, side of the game this is a good place to respond to events and manage anything specific to the player once you have chosen whether you want to uh, make a client or service script simply add a new blank uh, text file with the .js extension uh, to the appropriate uh, folder and open it uh, in your preferred code uh, editor. So uh, you want to go to client and then you want to add a new uh, text file so I guess you would come new and then text document And then file, save as, and then just name it whatever, um, client code dot js. You have to put the dot js at the end. So yeah. And then save. And then you want to put, and then you can open it up. I'm pretty sure it should work. Why is it? I have no idea why it isn't working. But yeah. Um, hold on, okay, so, let's see, once you've chosen whether you are making a client or service script, simply add a new blank text file with the .js extension to the appropriate folder, and open it at, in your preferred code editor. Okay, so, um, you have to, I guess, get a code editor. Visual Studio Code. Okay, so then Visual Studio Code. Okay, I hope th I'm pretty sure this will be free. Yep, it is. And then now uh, you want to do this. Just download it. It'll take a while, as you can see. Just so you guys know, I haven't done this yet, this part, but yeah. So then, I guess you run it. Next, I accept the agreement. Wait. Okay. 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 
Select uh, the additional tasks you would like a setup to perform while installing. Okay, create a new desktop icon now. Use for code, add open with code. Okay, and install. You don't have to do those two, but I, I just want to do it, but yeah. Okay, finish. So then uh, you want to uh, come here. Okay, getting started. Visual uh, Studio Code is lightweight but po a powerful uh, source code editor which runs on your desktop and is available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. It comes uh, with a built-in uh, support for JavaScript, TypeScript, and Node.js and has a rich ecosystem of uh, extensions for other languages such as C++, C++, Hashtag, I don't know, Java, Python, PHP, Go, and runtimes such as .NET and Unity. Begin your journey with a v versus code uh, with these uh, introductory videos. Well, we're going to be following this, so yeah. Okay, so... Welcome, okay. So then, open folder. Um, it's, it would be in desktop, I think. Nope. This PC. Documents. No? I oh, know. Okay, so. Let's come over. Here, mm. here, okay, there, okay, and then is there an open? Why can I not open it as? Why can I not open it? Oh, here. Okay, so open with code. Okay, and then code away. You can... Okay, so... Once you've chosen, yep, then code away. You can uh, have as many or as few JavaScript files as you want uh, here. The name of the files doesn't matter, and they will uh, all run independently of each other. No for scripts by, uh, run by the game. For scripts uh, to be run by the game, you need to enable experimental gameplay on the world where you will uh, run scripts on. This will be necessary while scripting in the still in beta. While the scripting is still in beta. When entering a world uh, that has client scripts in it, you will be prompted to accept uh, that you wish to run scripts on your device. This will show up both for local worlds and at, well, worlds as well as multiplayer worlds. Folder structure, vanilla behavior packs, okay. Their server, yeah, 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 okay. Structure of a script. In this section, you can find a quick description of the basic structure of a JavaScript file for the micro for the Minecraft script engine. If you would like to learn more about JavaScript or want uh, to follow a fundamental tutorial, you can check out the official documentation on Mozilla Developer Network here. I will probably link this in the description below, cause I, and I will also be doing using this, and yeah. 
These are, in a way, the required parts of a script, but they are by no means the only parts you can have. You can create additional methods as needed. Just make sure they are called from uh, somewhere in one of the methods below. 1. System uh, Registration First off, uh, to uh, register the system uh, file... You know what, I think I'll make a part 2, I'm pretty sure this is getting long. Oh, it's 10 minutes, not that long, okay. For a video. Okay, so, first off, you need to register uh, the system for our file. The signs up uh, our... Actually... You know what, yeah, so, uh, I'll make a part 2 to this. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below what I should do next. Don't forget to subscribe. Push the notifications bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. And also, hope you guys will find it, found this uh, video useful. And yeah, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all again next time. Till then, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you all again next time. Until then, have a f until then, uh, have a safe and fantastic rest of your day. I already said that, and goodbye.